think about the very first thing you do in the morning besides turning off your displeasing alarm that is now what about in the bathroom at the dining table while walking to work right before bed if you answered scrolling through your phone you're amongst the millions and billions of people in the world who cannot spend a day without social media about 4.80 billion people or roughly 59.9% of the world's population currently uses social media today statistics have shown that global internet and social media users can spend an average of 144 minutes on social media sites every day that is almost 2.5 hours heavily social media addicted teenagers spend 8 to 9 hours a day on social media plus there are more than 1 million new users who join this club every day although social media can contribute positively to our lives psychologists and data analysts are starting to find an increase in the extremely harmful and negative sides of the virtual world here are a few ways in which social media is potentially destroying your life it makes you dependable on social media acceptance social media runs on the one vulnerability that all humans have social acceptance we all want to be accepted and feel like we have a place in which we belong in this world social media creators use this to their advantage users are often found knowingly or unknowingly comparing likes dislikes views and follower counts to determine if they are validated and worthy the more you post and scroll the more you build an addiction to gaining recognition and acceptance by your peers and your community studies have shown that every like you get on a social media app activates the brain's reward center by releasing dopamine a feel good hormone which is linked to activities which bring you pleasure this makes you get into a compulsive cycle of wanting more and more every time it makes you materialistic mindset you spend hours scrolling away on instagram twitter youtube tiktok etc taking in all these material items being shown to make you feel like you need them to live a happier life when you're being overfed with so much information you come to the conclusion that you need these superficial items because the problem is that you don't have enough this toxic cycle can lead you to constantly wanting more and makes you feel less than because everyone else looks happier when they have a certain pair of clothes or shoes which are in trend at the moment it is highly addictive how exactly does this billion dollar industry makes its money you guessed it it's through the ads every single feature on every social media platform is designed to manipulate you into spending more time on the app or site as the saying goes if you're not paying for the product you're the product in the case of social media the advertisers are actually the customers every detail on the screen is ensured to keep you on the page for longer the bottomless scrolling of never ending content the way the like button turns a certain color when you click it the bright notification you get every time someone tags you or mentions you in a comment the read recipes and the most notorious feature of them all the recommended page for you every single feature of the app is ensured to keep you on the app for longer jacqueline spurling phd a psychologist at McLean Hospital describes how social media is designed to be like a slot machine. If players knew what they would be rewarded with for the game, there would be no interest to play in the first place. The idea of a potential future reward keeps the machine in use. When the outcome is unpredictable, the behavior is more likely to repeat. Spurling states, "This is the reason why you are so hooked onto your social media apps. So although social media sites may seem free, believe it or not, you're still paying for them, not with money, but through providing them your data. Every click, scroll, like and dislike is being closely monitored so that the algorithm can get smarter and more accurately understand your interests within the app it depicts a fake world ever wondered why you don't like the fancy celebrities and instagram models on social media no it's not because you weren't blessed with good genes or you're not beautiful it's because every single post you see has been made to depict an unrealistic picture rest assured the celebrities 
images and models you see on social media don't always look that way in real life. After all, they are human too. It's important to understand that everything on social media is formulated to look visually appealing to our eyes. Almost every single picture you see is taken in a way that can capture the perfect pose, angle, lighting and moment. And this is only heightened with the rising use of filters and editing software. Seeing these posts may make you feel defeated and as if your experiences are no match to the considerably more exciting and eye-catching experiences that others display on their social media pages. So the next time you catch yourself feeling like you're living an uneven full or unadventurous life, just remember that the videos and posts you may see on someone's page is not necessarily a genuine depiction of their real-life experiences. It can cause major mental health issues. Multiple studies have shown a significant association in how the heavy use of social media can lead to an increase in feelings of anxiety, depression, loneliness and in worse cases, self-harm or even suicidal thoughts. Many of us turn to social media as a security blanket for when we are feeling particularly lonely or anxious. This allows us to mask underlying mental problems such as depression and anxiety, which then lead to FOMO or the fear of missing out. This fear is ingrained in almost all social media users, whether you realize it or not. It gives you a sense of inadequacy, disappointment and overall dissatisfaction about yourself. You wonder where you went wrong or what you did so differently that left you with a less glamorous life than what others seem to be having. You then turn to social media all over again and the distractive cycle continues. Although social media can be harmful when used excessively, it still has its many positives. Social media gives us an open platform to participate in and promote important causes, discover and learn new information, find an outlet to be self self-expressive, keep in touch with friends and family around the world, network with people who share similar interests and so much more. It's not exactly about if you should use social media or not, but how you use it when you do. You're the one who must decide whether there's more help or harm in it for you personally. If you find that social media is having a negative impact on your life, stop using it. However, if you decide to stay, there are ways to waste less time on social media and thus maintain a healthier relationship with it. In the next video, we'll talk about the negative effects of social media on your mental health and how to break social media addiction in a healthy way. Stay tuned for upcoming videos and turn on the notification to never miss any video. Share this video to someone you want to help to break their social media addiction. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comment.